So here we are, Saturday lunchtime. All the chaps have now disappeared off up to the dining room. Well, actually, I think they're having lunch in the lounge uh, today. So uh, I'm just disappearing off for um, hot food. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to run the second video of the weekend. And here we can see the Austrians are on the back foot a little bit now. We've got some cavalry engagements that have been going on and got driven back. Really the divisions have gone into square to avoid being uh, ridden down by these chaps in armour. Uh, more of a heavy cavalry coming through here. The Austrian lines deployed to the Klenaus. Austrians forming a defensive line here as the French look to counterattack. And over here we've got the guard, French Guard cavalry has now moved through the centre and is engaging the Austrians head on. Austrian centre has attempted to hold that onslaught. The Russians fighting around Wachau have been driven back. The young guard now hold Wachau. However, there's another brigade coming up in support to look to uh, engage with the Russian division of grenadiers deployed here. And more of the French guard. These are, this, these are from the collection of um, Doug Burney. So very nice. I'll come around to the front of those in a moment. Victor's French Corps on this far right managed to deflect Kleist and his Prussians. Prussian dragoons taking, taking a few casualties. They still hold Dolitz and Konovitz. There's the French Young Guard around Wachau. The Russians holding this line. Here. Still quite a bit of Russian reserve here and Prussian reserve, so not all lost. Jeez, these Prussians are uh, ready to and available to come back on to support any drive that Kleist will make. So, quite a weight of Russians and some Austrians, some Austrian division on the back table here from the Austrian Corps artillery lending support. Some of our young guard all the entire of the centre collection. These were all done by um, Doug Mason. The eagle-eyed among you will spot that this is a Hestarmstadt Light Battalion, all hand-painted by Doug the boy, the little villain. Oh, anyone knowing Doug will know that I'm talking about his football allegiances with Aston Villa. <laughs> Bless him. So the Guard Cavalry have got involved in the melee there with Klenau's cuirassier. The infantry are somewhat exposed here in columns. It might go awry for them. And we can see the 
Light Cavalry from Dermold's Brigade are driving around this part of the hill, threatening the Austrians here. The Vistula Legion. These are uh, from the Moravsky Miniatures manufacturer. The command stands, not the command stands front rank, by the way. They're on a mix of horses. They're not front rank horses, but they're certainly front rank figures. So I bought these from uh, Roger Morrow oh, many, many years ago now, I think. About a good six or seven years ago. Painted by Neil Schilder, so really nice. I really like the contrast of the dark blue with the yellow. That works it particularly well for me. Pole still holding the village. More of the Austrian line here. Back to Klenau. The Italians, and there are some Württemberg troops with the Italians somewhere. I think they're on the back table there. But there's a Württemberg division. Frank Mont, and more of the French and Saxons there. So we've got Guard de, Saxon Guard de Corps, French Carabinier. More cuirassier and support from the dragoons. These plucky French chaps coming down the wing. Still a lot to play for. The Russians still have their guard cavalry to deploy, perhaps coming on as a reserve. See whether it comes on to blunt the assault of the French Guard cavalry. More, more, more Saxon Guard to call. I know these, seem, these are a firm favourite with uh, a lot of the chaps watching, so uh, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a peek of those. So I'll just put the reference sheet out of the way. Fresh Carassier coming up in support. These are all bike or miniatures, I believe. Very nice. And here's the Wurttemberg that I was talking about earlier. Got four regiments of them. And more dragoons in support. These dragoons have taken a little bit of a drubbing, they've lost eight casualties. So this is uh, for General Dame 2, um, which I intend to talk about a little bit later. Changes really are around uh, speeding things up, essentially, from a very high level view. We've got less of the pluses and minuses within the charge system and more of a result where you end up with casualty die that you're rolling to give you effects but it has changed the, the overall feel of it is similar but the, the change warrants a new rule book and I normally I would be thinking that would be uh, you know perhaps an unnecessary thing but with the changes they've implemented I think it's every bit you know, worth the new book coming out. So that'll be out in April, I understand. So probably around the time of salute, look for launch. 
and it's certainly speeded things up. It's done nothing to diminish the feel of the game. If you like General Darme, you'll love what they'll do, what they have done with the rules. We've got 16 guys playing this weekend and it's moving quite quickly. So even with this volume of figures on the table, we're looking to get a result come Sunday afternoon. for a little bit of an aerial shot and then I will conclude with this and look to do a short video part three at the end of play today when the chaps all go off into the town for their dinner. Thank you for watching.